What's the word, guys? What's the word? Welcome back. Welcome back. We're back. I took a week off from recording. And I'm moving on to my new series, which is just documenting my bulk. So I'm on a weight gain journey now. And I'm just trying to put on like five to ten pounds throughout the fall and winter. I'm trying to do it slow this time because last year I rushed the process. I ate a ton of food and by like the first month I was already tired of it. I didn't want to eat food anymore and yeah. So now I'm, I'm going to try to gain weight slowly, um, at least five to ten pounds throughout the fall and winter and I'm going to document my process. Also, guys, just a couple of more days till my baby arrives. It's 34 more days, and I can't be more excited. Like, I'm super excited, and I'm ready for this. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Guys, tune in. We have another leg day. The program stays the same. I'm going to try to document all my food that I eat throughout the day. So stay tuned to that. Comment, subscribe, peace. Why would somebody have a goal to gain weight? Like why wouldn't people just want to be skinny all year all year round? And I get it, but if your workouts, if they start in a suck, like you don't want to be in the gym. If you're not being productive at work, sometimes being on a deficit, so being in a diet all the time, could cause your libido to drop. So meaning you're not performing in the bedroom, right? Those are all signs that you have to probably increase your calories. You get what I'm saying? So you don't have to be in a deficit all year round. Allow your, time, your body to have some food now. Like uh, allow your body to have enough rice enough fruits enough vegetables enough water all the all these things play a part right and then say when march gets here you start a diet you start a deficit so you start cutting back on the foods that you've been eating and the same thing that you're gonna eat for a bulk a weight gain diet you're gonna do eat for the weight loss diet so you shouldn't just be eating junk when you're on a bulk you get what I mean? You shouldn't just be eating snacks and stuff like that. Eat your real foods. So if you're gonna eat eat uh, white rice, potatoes, sweet potatoes, fruits, vegetables, chicken, ground beef, fish, all those things should be on your diet, whether you're bulking or you're cutting weight. You get what I mean? You don't have to always just eat salads. Feel what I'm saying it's just the portions change all the time so if you're trying to gain weight not even if you're trying to gain weight if you're just trying to have a bit more energy and be a bit more productive at work and in the gym and have some good pumps then I recommend like I said a weight gain so just up your calories up your portions and by the time March comes cut the portions in half and you'll be okay and you'll see that you look better at your goal body weight. So say if you wanna be 175, if you gain weight to at least 190 and then you try to cut it down around March, at 175 you're gonna look way better because you added a bit more muscle. You get what I'm saying? So it's a process guys and I feel like that's one of the reasons why people don't stay in the gym consistently because they're always in a deficit. They're always trying to lose weight. And their workouts are just brutal. Bye. Welcome back, everyone. Today, I'm excited to share my leg day workout with you. Let's jump right into it. I started off with barbell squats, hitting 255 pounds for two sets of eight. After my D-Lo week, I'm focusing on smart training rather than pushing to failure. I always like to leave at least two reps in the tank to prioritize safety and recovery. To keep making progress, I also reduce my working weight by five pounds. Remember, 
If you're not planning to compete in a show, the best approach is to make slow, steady gains over time. Just because I'm starting a new program doesn't mean I have to switch up every exercise. It's important to stick with what works for you. Consistency. Remember, guys, consistency is key. And maintaining some of your tired and true movements can help you build a solid foundation. Meaning, if you're going to squat, if your squat is working, keep squatting. You do not have to move on to a hack squat. If it's building your legs up, keep squatting with the bar. As I move into the second and third week of my training cycle, I'll be attempting heavier weights and pushing closer to absolute failure. This way, I can really test my limits while still prioritizing form and safety. So two sets of eight at 255. I was supposed to leave two reps in the tank, but I left three. I'm gonna just go a little harder next week on this exercise, this lift specifically. All right, let's move on to some leg extensions. I moved on to leg extensions. I completed two sets of 13 reps. For me, leg extensions are one of the best exercises for targeting the quads due to the isolation effect. Guys, if you just want to target your quads, the leg extension, man. By isolating the quads, I can really focus on that muscle group and ensure I'm getting the most of each rep. It's a great way to build strength and definition in your legs, especially when combined with compound movements like squats. For my third exercise, I focused on seated hamstring curls. This time, I only did one set. And since it was just that one set, I pushed myself to failure, avoiding any reps in reserves. Going to failure on this exercise really allows me to fully engage my hamstrings and maximize the effectiveness of that single set. It's a great way to really challenge the muscle and stimulate growth, especially when you're working with limited volume. For the fourth exercise of my workout, I did free motion raises while facing away from the machine. I completed three sets of 15 reps using the lightest weight. I choose to go light because fo I'm focusing on getting rid of some of the shoulder pain I've been experiencing. By doing a higher number of reps, I can really feel the burn in my shoulder without overstraining them. This approach allows me to strengthen the muscle while being cautious about my form and any discomfort. Remember, it's important to listen to your body and adjust your weights and reps accordingly, especially when dealing with any pain or discomfort. And to wrap up my workout, I finished with calf raises, completing two sets of 13 reps. I always make sure to focus on a full range of motion, pushing through the balls on my feet and allowing my heels to drop for a full maximum stretch. And that's how I concluded my leg day workout. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Send to a friend. Peace.